Hey, you done here? Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> and I put my camera in the tripod because I figured an angled picture, a steady picture, would be way better than a shaky moving around camera. And I'm just going to show you the screen anyway, I believe. So I forwarded. I got on my uh, link sys over on my server because it's the one that's actually plugged into it and uh, that I've got running. And uh, I forwarded it to my TP Link router. Now, TP Link, I just have to. Uh, I got to forward. Um, let me get it. Let me, let me get it. 192.168.10.1. Is it 1 or 100? I think it's 1. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so and I'm and I'm actually controlling that way I can tap on my keyboard and everything and uh, so I'm just using uh Team Viewer to control the AS Rock. So I'm actually on my Fedora twenty three system. Now then, uh I don't remember the old password is the th the thing. Do I? No, I don't remember it, so I have to dig it out. I have it right here though. Okay, so. You can't, I don't believe you can change the uh, username on these, and a lot of them you can't. It's the password that matters, of course. Oops. And you won't be able to read it, so I can show you. Okay, so I'm gonna say never remember. I don't really like doing that. It said it failed. Good thing I said never remember. I must have typed it wrong. See what I did here. Uh oh. That's not working. Oh, well, yeah, because I'm using the wrong password. What happened to my r mouse now? Um, I think I might have uh, had a glitch in my... I'm using the wrong password for the wrong router. Okay. I thought it was funny that it was... Let's see. There it is. TP Link Trend Net. I see the same thing, don't I, when I look at it? Okay. Uh oh, and that was just my monitor or my monitor going to sleep. I have not. I never. I always hate that. I don't, when I'm on the machine, I went on the whole day. Wait a minute. No, it was not. Something went wrong with my dadgum Lenovo i5. It crashed. Why did it do that? It doesn't usually do that. The only time I uh, the only trouble I have with it is it only has 256 megabytes of uh, video memory, and if I'm watching a bunch of videos, it will start slowing down, slowing down until it. If I keep go, trying to keep pushing it, it'll just lock up. So if it starts slowing down, I just shut my just close everything down and reboot it. And it's a pain. I, I really want to build me a new eight-core system. This is a quad-core Intel, well, no, i5. Uh, it's got four gig of RAM, but it's only but it's a it's a kind of like a wind term. That's what they call. I have some other some older ones, WYSC wind terms. They're now by Dell. 
but uh, this is a Lenovo. Actually, I think maybe the wind turbines might have got sold from Dell to Lenovo. I'm not even sure about that. Anyway, it's a uh, commer uh, for businesses, you know, like uh, for uh, large networks. So it, it's not for watching videos. It's for taking, you know, checking people into the hotel and stuff like that. You know. So. Um, uh, they got plenty of power for uh, everything else, running applications and everything. They do really well. They do good at video editing, but they don't do good at Flash and Java and all the junk that's on the internet. <coughs> so, that's why things went crazy. I, I get the wrong password when I start when I'm try talking I get really get mixed up about what password goes where so um, well, I certainly didn't expect that it hasn't it has done that here and there but I guess team viewer caused it but I've used team viewer for hours at a time and it never caused it what I'll do once it gets logged in, I get my applications open back up. I'll just flip over on my KVM switch and use, just go ahead and use the wireless keyboard that I have plugged into the <coughs> PS Rock. It's just that I thought it would be easier to type on my, <coughs> my keyboard I'm used to. Actually, I'm just leave it just like that and just go do my thing. It's a... Get on my KVM switch. See if I'm still making video. <coughs> it's over there asking me, do I want to allow? Oh, it was ended. So, did you like the session? All that stuff. Okay, now hit login again. Now. Trying to put things in the best place. I can't seem to find the best place. Now let's look at that password for that thing again. <coughs> Make sure I'm not. This <coughs> <coughs> dust. And I've active this room. Three days ago, I spent two whole days. Go see my videos. I spent two whole days. If you don't believe me, cleaning this place. That's how bad the dust is, and I believe it's something on there. There's something really wrong in our air conditioner system that is sucking dust in through the ducts from the attic. But I can't find it. I've looked several times over the years. We even got brand new air conditioning inside unit, outside unit. New plenum going up to the duct system. I thought that would fix it because I thought that's probably where it was. And it didn't fix it. If anything, it seems worse. Okay, so. Uh, 192.168.1.101. That's what it gets from the Linksys router. Um, let's see. DHCP table. They always call it different things. Don't tell me what the IP addresses it's given out right now. Okay, yes, yeah, so my Dell 1525 laptop is plugged in there. Why is it 101? I thought that was this one's. 10.1. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. And so it's 10.101, the first one. And the AS Rock is 10.102. And that's the only thing that's on there right now. Okay. And it keep, it's keeping that. That's oh I, I've set that always said the same thing I set it as a static uh, IP address static list dynamic okay so what I need to do uh, status routing this is a pretty old router so but it was a it was it, it did do fairly well when it was new 150 megabits it was all right but then it got to where uh, and I don't I mean it 
I thought maybe the, the hardware was wearing out or something, which seems odd because it's basically a little computer, you know, and they generally run for ever. Well, unless you get bad caps or something. But, uh, I'm going to have a drink. Um, then I got to learning about that stuff, and I found out it's really all about the just amounts of data that keeps, you know, it keeps growing and growing, and, they, and the older ones can't handle it. So, anyway, the cash gets full. Basically, I, I, I read it's real complicated, but basically, there's caching. There's a cache in every one of them, and it, the caching system can't keep up. <coughs> so they start dropping packets, and everything gets in the mess. Okay, so uh, static. Can't remember in this one. They're all a little bit different doesn't show anything. Dynamic. Routing table. Can I just go in there? It's not, it's not, uh, okay, yeah, this is the whole thing. Okay. So that's not what I wanted anyway. Oh, I wanted access. I don't need to mess with any of that. Okay, Mac filter. Virtual server, special AP, DMZ, firewall rule. Okay, so I just, I want in this one, virtual server. And I had something set up as a virtual server. It's disabled, but it had been at some point. And then there's some, well, what used to be really popular apps like Net, Net Meeting. Yeah, I, I had that set up on 101. BNC is what I want. And it's on 101. There we go. 5900. I think that, actually, I'm not sure if TeamViewer, well, it doesn't matter. It's already working. I'm wanting to use BNC. And, but I want it on 102. Okay. <coughs> Two. That was completely turned off. That's why it wasn't going to work at all. Okay, update. And this one, you, you know, like if you're one, you, <coughs> as far as the security of this goes, it's behind two other routers. So um, if you get that far in, I'm in trouble, big trouble anyway. So. Uh, see <clears throat> whatever was the last thing you had it on it so I'm gonna set the things that I would want to use I don't know that this Windows machine actually supports I don't know if I can even turn on an SFTP I think I have an app on there that will turn on FTP, SFTP server I could check I just change them all to that I'll do that. <coughs> Can't believe I got into all this crappy dust again. <coughs> Just fiddling around back up in there. And I, I just can't get over how bad it, it, it is already from just a couple of days. Now, the web server I don't have going, but there's no point. In, I'll just turn it on anyway so that I could get there. At least I don't think I do. But there's some apps I have, like I can turn, there's an FTP server app that I just turn on and turn off when I want to use it. I think it's in everything search. I don't think that's actually running. Now I have to start it up, but the everything search will, uh, you can just click a button and turn on, uh, I believe that's the one, turn on FTP server. And there's some, that or something else will do a SFTP. I prefer SFTP because with FTP, when you file transfer files, you get the date of whatever day you did it. With SFTP, and that's not the only reason, but with SFTP, you get the date, the file's real date. And that really can cause headaches when your file dates keep changing, when you try to do sync, syncs and get rid of, you know, like when you're in backups and stuff. And you know, it, sometimes it, what can happen is an older file could actually, if it looks newer to a backup system uh, application, then it could override an older, an older file could override a newer file is what ends up happening. 
they'll try to always use SFTP, even though in my network it wouldn't matter about this, you know, the, the encryption and all that. Uh, my own personal network. And then there were some printers that I had. They're not on this router, so they had been at one time. So, 102, 102. Actually, the only one that we still have, I think, is that Epson. <coughs> got different numbers. It's, it, there's a Epson printer in there twice, but the number, I guess that's the ad. It's F4F09 or F0 f 3 Maybe it did that. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's different ports. Anyway, that might be a different printer. The one that we got now, I can get to it. Uh, since my, both of my, I had an HD pr printer and an HD printer scanner that was given me. And the scanner worked, but the printer wouldn't work. And both the printers are doing the same thing. They say, out oh, of paper wouldn't have run out of paper. So I, the other day, I took them out in the garage and put them in a box. I want to clean them with denatured alcohol and see if they'll work after that. But that's a big mess. And and I'll, get, I'll just get to that when I get time. Because I can print when I need to. I don't print much anymore anyway. Okay, so that should be <coughs> special APs. That's like stuff that's well known for games and stuff and that shouldn't be even turned on mm -hmm. see battle.net dialpad that was real popular I used to use that PC to phone quicktime 4 you don't hardly see any quicktime anymore but you used to need to turn that stuff on now I didn't think there'd be any DMZ firewall rules it could stop now they can stop you even though you just turned on all those ports Looks like I have it already. Or no. What do I have? I don't have any rules turned on right now. Oh, yes, I do. Allow FTP, SFTP, allow VNC. I've already got that turned on, so it should be good there. And of course, it's already defaulted to deny, deny it from the WAN. But the problem is, why isn't it clicking down there? Oh, it won't let you change those. Uh, and that's. But when you put these rules in here, see the default is to deny. So to this router, everything upstream is from the WAN, from the wi uh, from the wide area network, from the internet. Yeah. And uh, so it wouldn't let it work. So if you put these rules in, though, you can tell it let these certain uh, applications and ports open up and work. And you have to do that. You can, you can, it's not enough just to turn on your virtual servers. You have to, uh, I'm sure it's slow, this system, I guess. <coughs> you also have to open up the ports. So, I've got my, dang it, my little passwords where I keep them, have, have my keyboard. <coughs> and I'm bad today, I'm dropping everything. My Texas Instrument Calculator is sitting on top of me. It's in the way. Keep, keep uh, where I put it. Up everywhere I put it, it's in the way. Late to, right now, this minute. <coughs> so I drop it in the floor. Okay, so um, let's go see if we can get in there. I keep wanting to grab my regular mouse, and it's still not working. I think after I rebooted, it would work. Team Viewer is still up and running. Close it. Because what I want to use is it's still running. Let's close it so I won't have it confused with uh, my regular VNC. It's not showing in the running apps. Now Fast wants to try to get me to buy something. Okay. Not showing my running apps, but I think it's um, my BNC server. But I believe it is running. I think it is. Okay, we don't have any messages from the system. <coughs> That's my network. I'll just close that just to not be using too much on the machine. <coughs> okay, now back to my Fedora 23 system. Well, I haven't opened anything up yet. I always like to have my 
system on our open source mini app does act up, I can of course close it real quick and easy. <coughs> And I don't usually open, yeah, 5900 is the f port for local uh, applications. 5800 is for br web browser, remote desktop, and I just don't open that up. Let's see, 101 is the Linksys router now. Oh, there we go. Now, what's the password I already forgot? That's the other password I got to remember. What is it? There we go. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> see that's going through my TP link is what I'm on. Then it goes through my link sys, the one that's actually acting up, to the trend net with it uh, set up uh, right to uh, forward that. So this is the only machine I can get onto though. Because you can't forward these ports to more than one. At least if you can, I don't know how to do it. There might be some way to do it if you're a network wizard, in, network engineer. <coughs> but um, anyway, with these little routers, and that's the other thing, you know, is what kind of router you got, what kind of functionality it has. But uh, you could, like, go in here, I think, and say the whole router's a DMZ. Like, whoops. Oh, it's already logged itself out. But you could click on DMZ is demilitarized zoning. But you you might be able to. I think I might have done that before. I wouldn't want to do that. But you could just say that whole every every you know the whole router is a DMZ and anything on there could be accessed. But uh, I don't know if that would work because uh, you you have to point <coughs> when you're going to the router's main port. I'll go ahead and log in again so I can explain what I'm trying to say. <coughs> so when you point to, okay, I have the links is pointing to this router's IP address. That's 192.168. At 1.101, that's the IP address given to this router by the Linksys. So when I'm going, so what I'm doing on my machine is I'm pointing to the Linksys in my application. The Linksys is pointing to the TrendNet. And so then the TrendNet inside, within its own self, is pointing to the machine I want it to point to. And uh, so you can't. Uh, you can't just say, "Oh, I want on this machine or that machine or the other machine." You have to, you can not without going in here and setting, resetting this up. You can't. <coughs> I, I, let me see, virtual server. Say, for instance, if you wanted to set up the BNC, I don't believe it will let you like say uh, 192.168.1 star star. You know, like wildcards. I don't believe you can. I think I tried it and it wouldn't work. Uh, and what I was saying about DMZ, the only other way I could think of you might could do it is enable DMZ and then say 192.168.10.101 or whatever. What would you, dot one, I guess. It would just say 192.168.10.1. The whole thing. That, that still wouldn't give you a route, though. Even if you could do that, that wouldn't give you a route to the right machine. That's the thing. Is uh, like if I'm over here on my other machine, <coughs> I don't think I can actually do it to show it, but uh, I can kind of show. Say, if I wanted to connect to any of these other machines that I routinely connect to, they're all on the same router. So I just pick whichever one or type in another one if it's one that I haven't been into. These are the ones I've been into before, you know. And uh, just go straight to them. This one here is the one I'm, uh, you, that's the one that actually goes to the Linksys. But these go to actual machines, see. So, and that I think is just something I tried that didn't work. That was a phone, I think. Yeah, that's a phone. And I tried going to that phone on a different port. I don't think it worked, but just to see if it would work. But, uh, so. 
Yeah, I can't think of a way to uh, get to more than I've never been able to see it see it happen with ever since I've been running you know several routers for quite a few years now, probably ten year ten years now. I guess five years. I don't know. Year by year, you know, as each router got old and start working good, I'd get a new one, and then I'd keep hanging on to the other. I'd end up with more machines because I'm always messing around with old machines that people give me and stuff whenever I work on. There's one particular neighbor who used to live next door to me. Now he moved moved out and got his own, got a got married and got a house. But uh, uh, this Lenovo i5 is a let, let mostly he gave me this one, and you know I work on stuff for him for free. Is in the machines and stuff, so uh, stuff that stuff that we sometimes is in, like this one's my main computer, you know. So, uh, this one that's got the red light on it <coughs> that was my main machine. Well, actually, I got it from another neighbor. Let's see, where did I get that? No, from him, a friend of his, someone he knew. I, I built them a new machine, and that one had got damaged. Something was wrong with it. Oh, it got hit by lightning. Some of it was okay. Oh, the motherboard. I had to get a new motherboard, and the rest of it was okay. The memory, the processor, and all that was okay. So, um, that's how come it's, uh, well, that was a BIOS store. I bought a, back then I had put put a BIOS store motherboard in it. That's before I even really discovered AS Rock. I like AS Rock. I like, and AS, Asus, you know, gets all the, all the attention and then and, you know I think a lot of them are good they evidently people give them good reviews but some of them have a lot, <coughs> have a lot of troubles the AS Rocks um, what was cool about it the AS Rock motherboard is that it um, you could use DDR2 or DDR3 but you could only go up to uh, 4 gig of memory though that's only kavat to that but it'll go anywhere from a t dual core AMD to an 8 core AMD processor well, that was pretty cool FX FX processors, and the dual core is not an FX. It's just a dual core. Uh, I forgot which one it is, but that's what's in it right now. And since it won't go up any higher than four gig of memory, or is it eight gig? Uh, I think it's four gig. Then I wouldn't really want to go buy an eight gig processor and then only have four gig of memory. But anyway, especially since the motherboards aren't that expensive, you know. And there's other AS Rocks or Zeus or whatever that will. I'd want one that would support minimum sixteen gig, probably thirty two. But anyway. Um, uh, I guess I can close the browser now. See if this thing's running while I'm on it. Oh yeah, I was gonna get on the phone. <coughs> I think I'll stop this video and pick up that. Oh, the phone I was gonna do it with is the one I'm making the video with. Well, I can always put the other phone. I got three of these uh, Alcatel A845L phones. If I want to do it, make a video. I wasn't gonna make a video of it. I'm just <laughs> looking to do it. But yeah, if I wanna. The apps that I need are on this phone that I'm using, so I, but I could use it to connect and use the uh, other phone if I want to make a video. I don't know if it'd be of any interest, though. Let's see. Um, it's running okay now. See, it's not acting bad or anything. And that's through remote desktop, too. I'm sitting there going, oh, that's decent. So once it gets booted up and everything quits running, you know, in the background, I still don't know what that darn. I gotta watch that video and see what that was saying it was doing. First video. Uh, but if it'll run good enough, the main things I use this for is uh, I was using uh, my phone explorer. It's in here somewhere to uh, back up my phone videos and stuff too. But now I'm not doing that anymore. I'm using my big uh, hard drive and just using uh, Lucky Backup on my Linux machine. That's a lot. Lot. But it works better for me, <coughs> and um, then uh, I I used uh, I used to use um, any twin duplicate file finder to clean up duplicate files a lot with uh, on and what I can do I can connect to uh, go into Windows Explorer and connect to a, you know another machine on the network. Ones that I have set up to do that, they don't. I don't have all my machines set up to do that. Um, takes a minute for it to come in there, but um, anyway, I could run any twin on 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 other machine. You know, find duplicate files on my Linux machines because it was my. I really liked the. Uh, there's no other machines showing up right now, but uh, just the AS Rock is the one I'm on here, so. D is my backup drive. Was my backup drive. That's the one that's going to be my new Windows drive now. 
I've already backed all this stuff up to my big uh, USB hard drive, so that stuff can be deleted. But I guess I don't have anything running that's running an SMB server right now. Yeah, my Lenovo i5 I never did put one on yet. This other one should, the one <coughs> that uh, Red Black Biostar does, and that's the one I used to do it on a lot. That's my was my backup machine. Now I, now it was my main machine and my backups all in one, and then it became just my backup machine. But now I got that big hard drive, so <coughs> I can change things around. But it's running, but I haven't logged in, so I guess that's why it's doing that. And on that one, I can log into it via VMC, but I have to log in uh, to the machine, you know, on the machine first, then I can do VMC. So. But uh, then it would show up in here once it's logged in. I'm, that's I didn't remember that, but I'm, remember, I'm beginning to figure that out right now because I know it would show up. But anyway, uh, <coughs> there's my round and round and round with my networking, but I got that to work and. Uh, I might I guess I'll do that I'll make a I wasn't I hadn't even thought about making a video of that messing with the phone like that but I will since I've already got it up and going and uh, I don't think I need to be connected I think I should reboot it so that my uh, keyboard will work though but it's real hard for me to work with that keyboard I'm not used to it's fine for watching TV and just mostly just using the mouse I can type on this keyboard down here but uh, not near as well so I'll just close this connection here let's see close that well that's great I'm glad I did that I might need it I might uh, need it now that I, I see I can if I just decide to unplug my U VGA and my USB from the back of the S Rock so that I can use it somewhere else on another machine then I'll be able to get to it and that's the way I normally run it is with VNC and I kind of prefer I really prefer the uh, VNC app in Linux than the uh, team viewer just the way it works and the aesthetics of the screen and stuff <coughs> but uh, even though team viewer does have some extra features in it but let's um, reboot this and see if my keyboard will start working again my other keyboard see I see every time it goes back to my it keeps not recognizing my, but I'll leave it on it so that maybe while it's booting up it'll it'll work so let's restart now let's see if it had a Windows update it hadn't been on in a while didn't say anything about it I'm getting hungry I think I'm gonna have to eat lunch <coughs> And don't actually need the other machine even running. So, oh no, I was going to move over there. I said, well, I'll just go log into that uh, Red Black Bob store while I'm still sitting there watching this reboot. But that won't do what I wanted to do. I want this keyboard to be connected to it when it boots up. So then I think it will find it and set the drivers, the drivers back like they should be. I don't know why it's doing that. It didn't used to really do that. But I remember when it had 32-bit Windows 7. Maybe it's something with 64-bit 7. This takes a darn long to reboot. That watch it go really fast, which we good. That's good. Make a liar out of me, please. It's not too bad so far, but let's see how long it takes Windows. It, it, it'll get up into Windows, but then it won't be usable for quite a while because it's so slow at loading everything. So if you've only got 2 gig of RAM and a dual core processor, Windows 7 64-bit is not what you want. It just, that's the absolute minimum RAM for Windows 7 64-bit. And it's just, you know, can barely run it. Oh, that's not too bad. Now let's get it logged on. Let's see if my keyboard's working. Still not working. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. But luckily it did recognize that uh, wireless keyboard. I mean that, uh, that HP keyboard is 
it's so old it's USB 1.1. Maybe that's uh, why it's acting up on the Windows 7 64 bit. Everything else has never acted up. I mean, like I said, once in a while it would kind of lose connection or something, then you just flip the switch around. The K is all to do with the KVM switch, and you flip it around, take it off, and put it back on there, and go back to work. So that didn't really take too long. It took longer to shut down than it did to boot back up. But it's up, but it's not actually ready to use. I <laughs> watch it make a liar out of me. <coughs> Again, go ahead and please make a liar out of me. Okay, so um, you can see it's just now starting uh, the bass. Okay, yeah, there's VNC. Now I see it running. 192.168.10.102. It might have not started up properly last time because it uh, didn't have a network connection. Well, that probably was what it was. Well, it's, well uh, it was running and it worked, but I didn't see the icon. The icon wasn't there. And then I don't want Windows 10 is running, volume, and audio deck. Those two things have to do with the audio for this system. Okay, now. <coughs> this should be, it's running a VNC server. And it's ready to accept connections. We know that works. So now I'm going to try. I'll have to shut down this video. And I'll start a new video on the other phone. I'll put it in my tripod. And uh, I'll try, you know, connecting to it with the phone here. Alright. I'll be back. I don't know if I can do that without getting up there.